The area that we're looking at here is associated with Unit 5. Generators are large pieces of equipment with many moving parts and ours are pretty reliable. But this one was a particular challenge because there were three units that went out at the same time. So when all three units tripped, we knew immediately. This is believed to be the area where the lubricating oil came out of the system and came into contact with something hot enough to serve as an ignition source. The specific source of the ignition isn't known, but the area of ignition is believed to be uh, down and, and below me to the left. It didn't take too long to figure out that it was a significant fire and we were going to be out for a significant amount of time. And so immediately then our, our traders get on the phone and start trying to buy power to make up for that loss. The damage in the fire was really isolated to the southernmost portion of this operating floor where all of our turbine units are, are located. So when you look up above Unit 5, you see the scorching on the wall to the left. The temperatures got hot enough that it caused the tiles to start to come off. We're pleased that the generator doesn't appear to have been damaged. And until we take the covers off of the turbines themselves, we won't know what the, the overall damage assessment is for Unit 5. It was pretty obvious early on that the units were not going to be back for June. So we went out and bought power and made sure we were covered for June. We've got that taken care of, and in addition, we went ahead and bought for July. This window is the window from the plant manager's office looking out on the operating floor. He was in his office when the fire started. Uh, he looked out onto the operating floor, and when he opened the louvers, all he saw was a, a front of orange flames. So Sean immediately went into the control room and started ordering evacuation of the plant. The firewall that goes along my right and behind me and around the back of this office kept the fire in, contained in the operating side of the plant. Our control room was preserved, which is very, very important. It would have taken longer to get back in service if we had to do significant repairs there. Our preliminary evaluations of the three units suggest that our attention should be paid first to Unit 6. Our lab results have shown no detections of asbestos. I'm pleased to report I'm able to stand in front of you today in this level of PPE because environmental contaminants that we thought may have been here, we haven't detected those. And right now our, our basic schedule is our hope is to have Unit 6 back up and make an electricity in July. Once we're in a position where we can do more evaluation of Unit 7 and get the crane in service, uh, we do expect to be able to get that unit back in business in the fall. And overall, that would put us back to about 80% of the normal generating capacity out of Drake. That is phenomenal. We've got folks working 24-7. We have outside services uh, bringing support to us all the time. We understand the pressure that puts on our ratepayers. It's driving us to make sure that we are not wasting a minute in getting this plant back online. We're reprioritizing every single day, multiple times, to make sure that we're making the right decisions to get one of these generating units up as quickly as we can. When you think about the Drake plant as a whole, it's actually, it's a very large facility. Everything from cooling towers to, to train tracks, coal handling, uh, substation, switch yard, you know, it's a very substantial facility. And the fire, while it did cause some notable damage to Unit 5, that overall damage is pretty isolated. And the effects of the plant, of course, were offline, but as we make these repairs, there is no question that we'll be making electricity at the Drake plant again, and the pressure from the community, which is absolutely appropriate, we need to be demonstrating that we're taking every reasonable step to get this facility back online. As a municipal utility, every dollar that we spend goes to our ratepayers. Every dollar that we make selling goes to our ratepayers. We all live in Colorado Springs. We pay the same rates everybody else does. So we have a vested interest in that. The Drake power plant is really important fixture in our portfolio of generation assets. And coal is a low cost, reliable fuel. It's about 50% more expensive to make electricity at our gas fired plants than it is to make it off our coal fired plants. And for that reason, we want to continue that for our customers and the Drake facility is an important part of that picture.
And so success for all of the Drake staff and our restoration team looks like getting Unit 6 up as soon as possible. And really getting this community back to where we're generating our low-cost coal-fired electricity as soon as we can.